In this session, we're going to be looking at how we pay the liabilities that arise when we process the payroll. These liabilities are the tax that we deduct from our employees that need to be paid to the Australian Taxation Office, how we pay the superannuation guarantee contributions, and there may be other deductions that are required to be deducted from our employees and passed over to the appropriate agency. NYOB makes this easy for us. We have on the command centre a button on the right hand side there that says pay liabilities. If I click that, it'll take me into what looks like a payment screen to pay my liabilities. The first that I will normally do is my taxes. Here where it says liability type, I have the four liabilities that could be there, deductions, expenses, superannuation and taxes. If I select taxes and I then put in the appropriate dates, now the taxation that is deducted either needs to be paid over quarterly, depending upon the size of your payroll, or if it's a large payroll, monthly. Dated from the 1st of July to the 30th of September. The amount that shows up there in grey at the moment, $1,321, if I tick in the column behind it, now becomes in bold. Who am I going to be paying it to? I'm going to be paying it to the ATO. Click in the supplier and put in the ATO. And the statement tax will be the reference number that is given to you by the ATO for making the payments. All I need to do now is to make is to click record and it will then be grouped with my electronic payments. Click record and that is the first one done. If you are using the MYB Bastink feature to report your PAYG withholding payments, you should not use this feature to remit your PAYG withholdings. I generally tend not to use Bastink, so I'll just go OK. Having paid our taxes, we will now go on and pay the other deductions. If I click where it says taxes, the drop down menu and then click deductions, up will come the deductions that we have deducted for the previous three months. The advance repayment, that stays basically with us. The Christmas fund, that will be put into a separate savings account. If I click behind the Christmas fund, and then go to the supplier. The supplier will be the savings account Christmas fund, a separate bank account we've set up. I'll use that supplier. The statement text is Christmas, and all I have to do now is to record the payment into my electronic payments. I click record. The advance repayments will stay there as a liability. I will handle that by applying it against the loan as a journal entry. Click cancel and we're back to the main command centre. Normally at the end of each quarter we're required to pay the superannuation guarantee contributions on behalf of our employees. This is not as straightforward as normal. All we have to do is to let the superannuation funds that they wish to have their money paid through, how much we're paying on behalf of each employee, whether it is the superannuation guarantee contribution, the salary sacrifice, or whether it's additional superannuation that they wish to have paid over. I can use the pay liabilities, and if I click on that, it will come up. I change my liability type to superannuation, and for the period of the 1st of July, to the 30th of September. I have four employees, fortunately all with the same superannuation fund. I click the top of the list, like so, and it tells me that a total amount of $772.38 needs to be paid to them. The supplier, Spectrum Super, I've already set up as a supplier and the statement text will read SGC. If I record this now, it will simply make the payment. 
But in order to let Spectrum Super know who and what I'm paying, doubtless Spectrum Super has its own form that I need to fill out. The information for that, if I go to my reports at the top of the screen, my index to reports, into payroll, my accrual by fund summary, and if I customise it for the appropriate dates, the 1st of July 2012 to the 30th of September 2012 and display. It will tell me, if I widen the screen a bit, that I am paying superannuation guarantee for Anne Abel. If I've put the employer membership number in there, I can get that. And the employee membership number will also be there. So it tells me the breakdown of who I am paying and what I'm paying for. If I scroll down, the total it should be the same as the amount of money that I'm paying, $772.38. That information I'll need to send to Spectrum Super in addition to making the payment. I'll close that, close that. I've got rid of all my deduction, superannuation and taxation. I'll cancel that. And that's the bookkeeping taken care of.